In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to wire our smoke detector to your alarm system. I already connected the power to terminals 4 and 1. Terminal 4 is your 12 volt plus, so you're positive, and terminal 1 is your negative or ground. And then terminal 2 and 3, this is going to be your relayed circuit, so it's either going to be normally open or normally closed. There is a selector on the back of the smoke detector under this cover that you can select if you'd like it to be normally opened or normally closed. I'm also just showing you uh, most alarm systems require resistors and what you do is the resistors would cross if it's a normally open circuit the resistor would cross again uh, between terminals 2 and 3 like that or if it's a normally closed circuit then the resistor would go from terminal 2 to your wired back to the alarm and then of course uh, terminal 3 would also wire back to your alarm. So that's what you do with the resistors. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. You just twist it to connect it on. The smoke detector will initialize and you can see the lights flashing. Once that light stops flashing it has initialized and with this voltmeter I'm going to turn it to the speaker icon so it will beep when the uh, two terminals touch each other. I'm going to flip the smoke detector over and these are the two relayed terminals and if you touch them you can hear that it has a, it's, this is currently set to normally closed because it's beeping. I'm going to leave this on, press the test button and when I press the test button you'll see the beeping stops and the smoke detector will beep. Once the smoke detector stops beeping, because uh, it goes to open, it'll go back to normally closed and the tester will start beeping again. Let me just show you this. I'm going to press the terminal underneath. And you can see while it was in alarm, it went to open. Let me hold it in again. So right now it's in the open, and when the alarm stops, it goes back to closed. That's how you can test to make sure the smoke detector is working properly. If you need to purchase one of these or you need more information, you can go to www.shieldtechsecurity.com.